What's good, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. To check it out, you guys done read that title, you done seen that thumbnail, I'm sure your mouth is watering, and in this video today, I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make a seafood baked potato. With that being said, let's get it. Okay, so look, now I'm gonna show you, look, it's not a whole lot of ingredients, right? Obviously, you gotta have yourself some potatoes, right? For me, I use these russet potatoes. These right here are like the favorite and a front runner. And since I'm saying russets, I'm gonna go ahead and go right here. We gonna go ahead and do it like that restaurant style. I'm gonna go ahead and use this flaky salt right here. This right here is what's gonna be fire on the top. It's gonna give it, you know, for me, I eat everything when I do a baked potato. And here we got Parmesan cheese. Now, right here, look, this is a Creole mustard. Now, if you guys don't have a Creole mustard, that's cool. You can go ahead and use just any old, uh, I don't want to say it like that, any old makes it sound crazy, but just use any Dijon mustard of your choice. Here we got lemon juice. Then we got garlic cloves. But look how big these garlic cloves are. I hope they fit in my press. You know what I mean? Those are huge. Really, I usually put a four, but I'm going to use th these three big ones. And then, you know what, when we do seafood, we want to have a little Creole, you know, type flavor to it. This right here, this is the Creole kick. Now, if you guys don't have Creole kick, you can use uh, any Creole seasoning that you have right here. But I just suggest if you guys don't have it, get this. And this right here, you'll see on this channel, we cook a lot with this seasoning right here. Over here, we got a couple of tablespoons of butter. Actually, I'm gonna have, probably have four. You guys, uh, I don't have them cut right now, but just go ahead and cut yourself four uh, tablespoons of butter. We're gonna have a little bit of this cheddar cheese over here. We got a little parsley. We're gonna use this parsley, not just for the, uh, it's not gonna be just all garnish, but we're gonna put some, you'll see. And then right here, I got some thick cut bacon. Now, I know, I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below, do you guys have bacon bits? Hey, don't tell me, because I got bacon bits in mine too. And I always have that. That's always a backup. Now, got that. I'm gonna be using the olive oil, because look, after I wash and clean these, I'm gonna go ahead and coat these, my recipe potatoes. I'm gonna coat them with this olive oil. And by the way, this olive oil right here, this is my branching vine. Look, this is scallion infused. That's what I use inside of this. This is my go-to. Now, we say it's gonna be seafood, right? I'm gonna start right here. Look, I got crack. Let me just do it like this. Check this out, this is claw meat. This right here, one pound of claw meat. And then I got some, look at the size, folks. This is my shrimp. Think about this, the shrimp size, and then you putting them on here. If you get the big ones, you're not gonna be able to get as much. So just think about that, all right? So then we got our shrimp, heavy whipping cream, and here we got our chicken broth. Hey, super easy. I'm gonna tell you, it's big on flavor. Look, I'm not finna over talk it. My mouth is watering. Hey, and before we go, let's go over here to my oven right here. Let's go ahead and preheat this oven. We're gonna preheat the oven to uh, 350 degrees. You know, get that up to temp while we prep these potatoes. All right, so look, I gonna put myself a glove on, right? You'll see why, because listen, we're gonna be dealing with this olive oil. So now I'm gonna go ahead, get yourself a bowl. You know, a bowl big enough to hold everything, right? Your potato, you know, over your bowl, right? Get your olive oil and just go ahead and just put a little bit on here. It's okay if you put too much because it'll be down inside your bowl. That's what the bowl is there for anyway. And, you know, when you have the rest of them, it'll just ensure that all, everything has, you know, olive oil on it. And the purpose of that is when we put this in the oven, we're going to get this to be a little bit crispy on the outside, you know, because that olive oil is going to heat up like a little, just a little restaurant tip, you know. And I already showed you guys I'm gonna be using that uh, that flaky oil, right? I mean, that flaky salt. Now, look at that, nicely coated, right? I'm gonna set this off to the side like this. And what I wanna do is get yourself, what you wanna do is you wanna get yourself a fork. And what you wanna do is, let me get it where I can go ahead and just stab it. You just wanna put some holes in there. This is gonna release that steam inside of there while it's in the oven and let it come out. You know what I mean? So I put them all over. You guys can do them however you want to. I put them on the side too. It doesn't take a whole lot. You just want to make sure you got some holes in it. So, like I said, so that steam come out. So I'll set that off. Let me do the rest of these. 
Then we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the assault. Okay, so check it out. We got our holes in there. Okay, let's start from the very beginning. We washed, we got the uh, infused olive oil on there. And don't forget, if you guys don't have infused olive oil, which is cool, you can go ahead and use some extra virgin olive oil. I got that on there. I just put the holes in there, right? So now it's time to add, look, this is our flaky salt. So I'll just take this and we're just gonna sprinkle it over the top. You guys are gonna appreciate having this bowl because the cleanup gonna be nice and easy. Got the salt on. Now my oven, it's up to temp, right? So look, I'm not gonna put them on no rack or nothing like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and take them and I'm gonna just place them in here just like you see. Then I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna set a timer for one hour. Okay, so it's been one hour. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's pull this out. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put these on a plate. Okay, so this is done. You guys can see it's still got the salt on it, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead, just poke a few holes in it like this, and I'm gonna do it along this way. This thing is hot, right? So once we get that done, get yourself some, you know, some kind of towel or something, something to protect your, you know, your fingers from the heat, right? So if you take your fingers like this, grab it on the edge, and you push it in like this, you see how it opens up right there? And that there, folks, that's what you call a perfect baked potato. Okay, so you can see, look at these baked potatoes right here. Hey, these are nice. We're gonna let that butter melt. Now we're gonna go ahead, let me show you this next part. Now this right here, look, we all know how to make bacon, right? I done made my bacon, I'm finna put it on here, chop it up, give me some bacon bits. Then we're gonna go ahead and make this sauce. This sauce is made really, really quick and it's probably gonna take just about five minutes, you know what I mean? So super easy, let's get it before my baked potatoes cool. And to be honest with you, only because I'm doing this like, you know, for video purposes, when you put them in the oven, this is what you wanna start like about 20 minutes prior to your baked potatoes being done. You go ahead and make your sauce and get everything ready. Hey, but with that being said, I'm finna get it. All right, so look, I'm just gonna show you, look, I ain't gonna bore you with this. This is my bacon, right? So I'm just gonna cut myself some small pieces like this. Then I'm gonna chop them up even smaller. Okay, so look, you saw me cut down the bacon and all of that, right? I'm gonna use my bacon fat. Now, for those of you guys that don't do bacon fat, you know what I mean? And not even doing, um, or let's just say this, maybe you are gonna use bacon bitch. If you're gonna do that, you're not gonna even have any bacon fat, right? So that's why the butter comes in. So now I brought this back up to temp. I'm gonna go ahead and just add my butter to that. Okay, so I got my spatula. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and just give it a pinch of my Creole kick, right? We'll just move this around on the butter. Butter's nice and hot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my shrimp. Now remember, we want to be quick with this. It's not going to take long. Main thing is we want to make sure that all of our, flat, our uh, shrimp is, you know, flat on the bottom of our pan. Okay, so look, it's been about almost, we're coming up on, almost on like one minute, right? I'm going to go ahead and flip these over. And probably about the time that I get all of these flipped over, it'll be time to take them out. Okay, so got them all flipped. I like the way they are. You can see how they curled up. So look, we're going to go ahead and take them off. And then listen, when you're using tongs, you know what I mean? When you touch them, you can you can see that they still soft. They're not overcooked. These are, hey, I can't even talk right now from my mouth watering. Okay, so check it out. Now, I brought my, you know, my butter. And you know, in my case, it's the butter and the uh, bacon fat, right? I brought that back up to temp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my press. I'm gonna go ahead and press my garlic right now. Now you wanna be kind of like fast with this. You know what I mean? Because we don't want to burn it. You know what I mean? So I'm going to move super fast. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just add my chicken stock. And we're just using this really to deglaze. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our heavy cream. Okay, so we're coming back up to a boil. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my Creole mustard. Now, I'm going to take my Creole kick. Now, I've just been using the spatula, just keeping it moving, right? I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's starting to thicken up a little bit on its own, right? So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna take my Parmesan cheese and I'm gonna go ahead and just spread this, you know, in here like that. And we're gonna just give it a stir and we want this to start to melt. So take a look at that right there. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. It's starting to thicken up, right? So now I'm gonna come with my lemon juice. Look, and over here, you'll see, I just went ahead and cut up you know, my uh, parsley, that's done. Now I wanna take my crab meat, excuse me, my claw meat. Hey, big difference, folks. Take a look at this. That was just one minute afterwards. You can see it's really starting to thicken up. You know what I mean? So we'll keep it going like that. Now I'm gonna take a little parsley. 
And we're just gonna work this in a little bit. It's up to you how much parsley you guys put in there. I say a tablespoon, you know what I mean? But if you wanna put that little color in there, you know that green go with it. And not to mention, when you add that to this sauce right here, it, got, it adds a nice little taste to it also. Now, I'm grabbing my shrimp. And now, reason I went with that, because these are already, you know, been cooked and they just about ready, right? And then now I'm gonna come with my crab, my claws, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit to this and then we are gonna come out of here. To be honest with you, once I get enough of this in there, ah, you know what? Hey, let's do it like that. It's all going in. Now we finna get this. Hey, tell me what you think, folks. This is what we gonna put on that baked potato. You see, we did this previously, right? I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my cheddar cheese and I'm just gonna put a little bit of this cheddar right here. You know, like that, just for the bed because we finna put this hot sauce on there and we gonna get all of this to melt, melt too. Now, we got it like that. Don't forget, we got the butter on there, all of that. Now, let me just go ahead and grab some of my, my sauce and we'll just start adding this on here just like you see. Look at that there, folks. If this ain't doing it for you, you know what, go ahead and unsubscribe. Cause look, this is the kind of stuff we gonna be doing, you know, as far as uh, smoking and grilling and cooking and doing the Cajun thing with me, A, B. Y'all tell me what you think about that right there. That right there is fire. And don't forget, I'm finna come with them bits. You know what I mean? It's up to you how you guys wanna do it. If you wanna put some sour cream over the top, you can, but I suggest you try it without it first. You know, then we'll come with a little bit of this parsley. You know, just to, you know, pop, get a, a pop of green over the top. And I want you guys to tell me what you think down in the comment section below. Fire or no fire? Hey, write it just like that. Fire or no fire? Hey, that's what I got for you folks. Hey, so you saw it. Look, I already got my fork in my hand. So let's go ahead and get us a, uh, oh man. You want to talk about just, oh man, the potato nice and soft. I don't want to make like a too big of a mess. But you know, I'm gonna go down here and get some of that. Get, ah, you can see that cheese melted. I'm gonna get me a shrimp. You look at that, folks. That right there got a little bit of everything on it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and swallow first, and now it's time to hit it. I don't know if you guys can see that steam. Oh yeah. Anyway, here we go. Hey, I'm always talking about call somebody, tell them, let them know that I'm in town. Hey, make this, do it the way I showed you how to do it. If you guys didn't know, you can even look at some of my past videos where I was cutting the top, doing all kinds of stuff. But now that I done discovered the game, you know, how to make them open up, how to be perfectly fluffy and all of that, do this, put this out in front of your folks, whoever your folks are, and watch how they just light up. First, they're gonna say something about your presentation. Mm. I don't know if I can even go back and eat a regular baked potato, especially with the ease of this right here. Hey, you know I'm thinking about having a tomahawk steak or something like that, but I feel like I'm over talking. I'm finna pour myself some Kool-Aid. I'm finna finish this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do my outro. I really he ain't got no words for it. <clears throat> Man, let me get my composure. That right there is fire. Hey, check this out. You can actually put this on top of a steak, cut your meat and take all of that in. So if you didn't want to do a potato, you can pour your sauce right over the top of a steak. That works well. And check this out. You know, when you're looking at it right now, you're probably thinking like, oh, you could just use some kind of pasta. That's right. You can get that fettuccine, you know, put this in there, mix it like that, put it in a bowl and just get down. Hey, so with that being said, check this out. Listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like, subscribe and ring that bell, right? That way you'll know anytime I drop any of these type of fire recipes, right? So with that being said, I got a little bit more to finish. You know what I mean? It's a couple of people behind you guys that really want to get down and sink their teeth into this one right here too. So I'm going to get out of here. Peace.